Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Leatherman Wave Plus, Leatherman's best-selling multi-tool of all time. The original Leatherman Wave was released back in 1998. It was made to be an upgraded version of the original PST. They wanted to take the PST and just make it better, and Leatherman definitely succeeded in that because the Wave has been the best-selling Leatherman tool of all time, as well as just one of the best-selling multi-tools of all time, and the Wave model has gone through multiple changes and today in 2023, the Wave Plus is the latest and greatest version of the Leatherman Wave. Before we dive deeper into my review of the Leatherman Wave Plus, I have to give a big shout out to my friends over at Huckberry for sending the multi-tool my way. Huckberry is an online shop and journal that brings people the best new brands, gear, and stories to inspire you. Huckberry is a great fit for me since they have a great selection of clothing, footwear, as well as EDC gear like knife and multi-tools. They offer a number of quality exclusive house brands, as well as some of my favorite third-party brands like Leatherman and New Balance. If you'd like to check out what Huckberry has to offer, I've left an affiliate link down in the description. Before we dive deeper into my review of the Leatherman Wave Plus, let's do a quick size comparison up against other Leatherman multi-tools. Here it is up against the Leatherman PST, the original Leatherman multi-tool it was based off of. Here it is up against against the Leatherman Signal. Here it is up against the much bigger and beefier Leatherman OHT. Here it is up against the Leatherman Skeletal CX. And here it is up against the Leatherman Free P2, my go-to EDC Leatherman tool. As you can see, the Leatherman Wave is like in the perfect middle ground between uh, smaller multi-tools and the bigger multi-tools. It's what I'd consider to be a normal-sized multi-tool. It's definitely pocket-sized, but it's definitely not uncommon to see it being carried inside a sheath. And next, let's do an open plier comparison. As you can see, the Wave is still in the perfect middle ground of being a normal size multi-tool, especially up against the Signal and OHT, and it's definitely a little bit bigger than the PST and the Skeletal, and it's more on par with the Leatherman Free P2. And next, let's measure it up against a ruler. In terms of closed length, it comes in at around 4 inches. In terms of closed length, it comes in at around 4 inches. In terms of the width, it comes in a little over an inch, around an inch and a half if you consider the girth of the knife blade on the outside. And then in terms of thickness, it comes in a little under 3 quarters of an inch. And then in terms of sharpened blade length, it comes in around 2 and 3 quarters of an inch. And then overall length with the blade open, it comes in at around 7 inches. And lastly, let's measure the weight up against other Leatherman multi-tools. Wave Plus comes in at 8.5 ounces. Free P2, 7.8 ounces. Signal, 7.6. OHT, definitely a lot bigger, 9.4. The PST, 5.2. Then the Skeletal zap 5.2 as well. So the Wave Plus comes in two colorways. It comes in the classic all stainless finish as well as this black oxide finish. The black oxide colorway, I guess because it is more tactical, it being all black, it actually comes with the black molly sheath instead of the standard black nylon sheath. This is also made out of nylon, but of course it does have the molly strap in the back. It's molly compatible. It's definitely a bit more on the tactical side. We have a big Velcro pad and then you can fit the multi-tool in side and you can carry it on your belt or of course on a molly system. So one of the biggest upgrades the Wave brought to the original PST was outside accessible tools as well as all locking tools. Starting from the outside you have the plain edge blade also in that black oxide finish made out of 420HC. It comes razor sharp out of the package. 420HC is a lower end steel but it is very tough. It's stainless and uh, while it doesn't have the best edge retention, it is very easy to sharpen, and of course it is liner locking, and you can easily open it with one hand as well as close it with one hand. On the same side, you also have the saw that's also liner locking, also in that black oxide finish. Saw is razor sharp, great for cutting through wood and like PVC pipes. Then on the flip side, you have another knife blade, also made out of 420HC, but this time it's a fully serrated blade, great for cutting through fibrous materials like 
rope. And then you have the classic Leatherman file. On one side, you have the diamond coated file. On the side, you have a standard uh, cross file. And then on the other side, you have a criss cut file. A lesser known feature about the Wave is that it does come with a slide out lanyard hole. It is a little finicky to get out. Um, you need to access it by opening up the saw and sliding a flat object and pushing it out. Uh, to get it back in, you simply pop it back in. Uh, it is a little finicky. If you want to get it out, you really got to slide uh, that flat object in to pop it out. Moving on towards the inside of the tool, we'll start off with the flagship tool of all Leatherman tools, and that is the pliers. Of course, you get both regular and needle nose pliers, and then you also have both hard and regular wire cutters that are replaceable. The latest upgrade to the Leatherman Wave series were actually the replaceable wire cutters, which I think is a really nice touch. On the handles of the pliers are a ruler, both in inches and centimeters. It's a little hard to pick up on camera, especially since this is the black version of the tool, but uh, there you have both an inches ruler at the top as well as a centimeters ruler at the bottom. If you have the tool like this, you can use it as a ruler in a pinch. All of the tools on the inside are locking. We'll start off with the spring action scissors. Simply pull out any of the tools all the way and then they'll lock uh, the scissors. You got to open it up like this and then you got some nice spring action scissors. Scissors are probably my most used tool on all, any of my multi-tools. Probably one of the greatest tools ever made. And then you can use the tools like this, close the tool, and then you can use whatever tool you like. And as I said, they are locking tools so you won't have to worry about the tool moving on you. And to unlock the tool to put it back, you simply press down on this lever and then fold the tool back in like that. Next up is a dedicated flathead driver slash pry bar. This is what they call a normal sized flathead screwdriver. It's also great for some light prying. And then next you have arguably the most controversial tool on the Wave and that is the small screwdriver aka the eyeglass screwdriver. It's definitely not a useless tool by any means but a lot of people would rather have an awl instead of this eyeglass screwdriver bit driver and just have it so that the small bits are compatible with the main bit driver which I'll get to later. The small bit that it comes with is a very small flathead as well as a very small Phillips head on the other side that you can easily switch out. Moving on towards the other side, first up we have that bit driver I was talking about. This is the standard bit driver. The Wave Plus comes standard with a number one and number two Phillips bit as well as a 3 16 flathead bit. If you want to get more bits for this bit driver, you'll have to buy them separately uh, from Leatherman, get the Leatherman bit kit, or any other place that sells Leatherman tools. And lastly, we have the standard Leatherman combination tool. This combination tool consists of a can opener, a bottle opener, as well as a wire stripper. It's no surprise to see that the Wave is Leatherman's best-selling multi-tool of all time. It took a classic design and upgraded it to specs and uh, features that everyone wants on their Leatherman tool. Another nice upgrade that I forgot to mention earlier was the rounded edges on the inside of the body so that when you are gripping on the pliers there are no hot spots. Like on the original PST they were uh, rather flat and uh, when you really grip on it you it does feel bad when you're really gripping on it. You can definitely feel those hot spots. So these uh, rounded edges on the Wave Plus were definitely a great upgrade and a great quality of life feature to a more modern Leatherman tool. All the tools being locking is also awesome and of course a great feature that has now been expanded to the free series in OHT is the fact that all the is that you have some outside accessible tools that you don't have to open up the pliers to get and uh, the two knife blades are one hand operable. The Wave Plus is definitely a rock solid working multi-tool that's also a great EDC. You have the built-in lanyard hole as well as an optional pocket clip that you can buy separately so that that you can simply throw this into your pocket and have it clipped, which is a nice option. The outside accessible knife blade makes it a great EDC, and I feel like the size is at a perfect middle ground between a small pocketable multi-tool and a tough working man multi-tool. It's no surprise to see why this tool is so loved and is Leatherman's best seller. I surprisingly haven't had a Wave for the longest time. I've had pretty much every other Leatherman multi-tool. My go-to EDC is still the Free P2 due to the fact that 
all the tools are one hand operable, but the Wave Plus would definitely not be a bad choice from my EDC. I would just need to buy that optional pocket clip and have it clipped to my pocket and then it would be perfect for me. So what do you guys think of the Leatherman Wave Plus? I'd definitely like to know down in the comments. Another big shout out to my friends at Huckberry for sending the tool my way. That's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials. If you really love the review, please consider leaving a super thanks in the tip jar below. And thanks for watching.